Well, the city of Winona is still basking in the glow of its nationwide exposure thanks to a Super Bowl ad featuring Winona native actress Winona Ryder. Now, the ad wasn't intended to publicize Winona itself. It was paid for by the website building company Squarespace with the premise that Ryder is creating a website using photos that she's taken around town. But for many in the town, the ad paid short shrift to the many things Winona has to offer. News 19's Alante Walker shows you some of what you didn't see in that commercial. I'm building a website. About what? Winona. Oh. This commercial seen by 102 million viewers during Super Bowl 54 is putting Winona Ryder's namesake city on the map. It has many people asking okay, where bye -bye and what is Winona. If you look up Winona, Minnesota, some people refer to it as the island city. Other people call it the stained glass capital of America. But to nearly 30,000 people, they simply refer to this place as home. You know, you're watching a Super Bowl and all of a sudden there's Winona, Minnesota and Winona Ryder. And even though it wasn't, uh, you know, the showing the beautiful bluffs or beautiful buildings, it's still exciting just to see the name Winona. So while the commercial establishes what people here in the Driftless area already know, Winona's rich culture goes far beyond what your eyes could see in a 30 second promo. Winona is certainly so beautiful. It is so scenic here, located between the Bluffs and the Mississippi River. And as a town, there is so much. It's affordable, it's accessible. People are very caring and they're very passionate about the community. The ad features fake storefronts and signs, like this Winona Outfitters sign on a building downtown. But a second welcome to Winona spot features real residents of the city. And they said they'd give me a chair and I could wear old shoes. So this is the way it went. And then when she came in, she said, may I take your picture? And I just saw flesh. But I'm not even looking. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking at, the, at the sound man who's standing there, you know, like this. At the urging of her daughters, 92-year-old Vivian Fusillo agreed to do the commercial, but only on her own terms. This wardrobe woman was going to bring clothes for me, and I'm not about to wear the, the plaid shirt that she was going to give me. Vivian goes to the Acoustic Cafe downtown every day, writing stories in her notebook and eating tomato basil soup. She's resided in Winona for 50 years and says there's no place she'd rather be. This is big enough for me. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it has so much going on, and yet you really don't have to do much. I'm always writing everything in my calendar and then I forget to look at it and I forget to go, but I feel like all that's possible. Possible in a city with endless possibilities and the best sweet treats in the Gopher State. Because after all, Winona is Winona Winona. Not Winona, right? Reporting in, well, you know where, I'm Alante Walker. Now, Squarespace is offering those who live in Winona a free website for a year as a way to give back. And city residents can visit Blooming Grounds Coffee House locations to get instructions on how to set that up. Meanwhile, Visit Winona is putting together a 48-page photo book, and they're asking for everyone's help. Now, to share some of the things you love most about Winona, you can go to the website visitwinona.com.